everyone. I am Cynthia here with X Hit, and today we are going to be doing a Sparta workout. This is Sparta. That was my best Gerard Butler impression. All right. Anyway, let's keep moving. We're going to go ahead and go through a whole bunch of exercises. Going to get us ripped like in the movie 300. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my weights here. I got 10 pounders. We're going to start off with front squats. Hey, okay, feet are hip width apart. Weights are out in a goal post position, and we're gonna sit it back. We got 20. Sit those hips way back. Have any knee issues? Shorten it up, don't go as deep, but if you can get way down there, you really wanna engage those glutes. Really power it up. Four more. Two and one. All right, let's go down into our mountain climbers. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Let's do it, down on the ground. Pound it out and begin. Really drive those knees up, keeping shoulders over palm. Feeling a burn in those shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, coming back up to our feet. We we'll go ahead and grab just one of our dumbbells and do a squat with an arm swing. Feet turned out, plie. Gonna have one hand behind our back, drop it down, and swing up to eye level. There's no need to really take it up over your head. You don't want to do any damage to your shoulder. So just take it up to eye level. Keep all that weight back on your heels. And switch it up. Hand behind the back. Keep that core tight. Four more. Two. And one. All right, dropping it down. Gonna go into our Bulgarian split squats. Now, you may need to get a chair on your bed, something like that, and place one foot up on top and hop your way out a little bit. Okay, you're gonna drop your knee down. Weights are at the side. We're gonna do 12 on each side, 24 total. One, two, get as low as you can. Really working those hamstrings. Man, I feel that in my glutes. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Let's see why those guys in 300 look so good in their loincloths. These are tough. Oof. Two more. All right, let's switch it up. Switch feet. And drop it down. Remember, don't let that knee go out over your toe. Drop the hips straight down. Oof, feeling it in my quads as well. Man, these are tough, but I love them. Two more. Mmm, hurts so good. All right, let's go on to dumbbell rows. Toes are forward, knees are slightly bent, and bring it up. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Head is up slightly. Keep that back arched. Really working those rear delts. Three more. Oh, Nate, my boss, he loves watching me do T push ups. He knows my shoulders are sore and they're blown out, but he's gonna make me do them anyway. And just because I'm a tough cookie, I'm gonna go ahead and do them. Ah, all right. Let's get fired up. Let's do these T push ups. Okay, so we're down. Turn it hand out to the side. Two. We got 16 total. Three. Ooh, 
almost there. 13. Fifteen. Woo! How you like me now, Nate? Little known fact, my, my uh, high school mascot was the Spartan, okay? Let me hear your Spartan spirit. What's that you say? My folks from Shenley, they should be watching that and should be cheering. All right, let's go into lunges with the weights. We have 20 total, and we're gonna go back lunges and alternating. Bend in that back knee, front knee, 90 degree angle. Core is nice and tight. Weights are at your side. Halfway there. I actually like this one a little bit better for my knees. I feel like there's a lot less pressure. So if anyone has knee problems at home, we have front lunges, maybe opt to go to the back instead. Three more. And that's 20. All right, we're gonna go into curl and the overhead press. So we're gonna do a little hybrid bicep curl into overhead press, back down and curl. That's one, we got 20, let's do it. Two, three. Now the thing you wanna be careful with, with this one, you don't wanna rock back and forth. Okay, you may start to get a little tired and you have a tendency to rock back. Don't do that, okay? Keep your core tight, that'll keep you nice and stable. And if you feel the weights are getting heavy, like I said, sometimes you like to keep a couple other lighter weights at your side. That way you can switch it up if you need to. Halfway there. I'm keeping my elbows tucked in nice and tight, getting a good bicep curl, really isolating that muscle. Five more. Mm. Two, last one. Whoo, all right. Last one in the bunch of our Sparta workout. We're gonna do single leg RDLs, okay? We have 30 total. So, you're gonna balance on one foot, have your weights at the side, and come forward and back to front, okay? Really wanna challenge, you wanna go ahead and keep that leg up. The entire time, really reach back and don't put that foot on the floor. If you need to, that's fine. If you need a little extra help with your balance, you can rest it in between, all right? Otherwise, drive that knee up. Really wanna keep your core engaged. That'll help you keep balance. I'm really feeling this in my low back, but in a good way. Hamstrings and that balance leg. I'm really feeling it in my calf. Whoo, burn in. Whew. All right, we're almost at the end of that battle. I'm gonna hit that other side and drop it down. Now you may find one leg is more challenging than the other. Most people have a dominant foot. I believe mine's my left because I'm struggling a little bit on this right side. But I'm gonna power through it, slow and controlled, using good form, taking my time. Ooh, really feeling it in those hamstrings. Five more. Three more. Last one. Woo! Yeah! Spartans up in here, baby. All right, we just finished up our Sparta workout. I hope you liked it. Make sure you're leaving comments at home and you're liking us. Tell us which workouts you like, what we can bring to you at home. We want to give you what you like. And we want to get you these. Are you zooming in on these guns? 
Come on now, you know you want these. <laughs> I am Cynthia here for Exit. I will see you next time.